In this lab, you will perform watershed and stream network delineation using DEM data. So the process basically uh, is based on determination of slope and aspect, which tells us about the flow direction in the watershed. And then those flow directions are further used to find streams, and watershed is typically created for what we call a pore point, uh, which is a point of interest. And we are interested in all the area, upslope area, that contributes to that point. So you have, in this lab, uh, a geodatabase, which is GeoDB, and it has a layer called NED30. Uh, this means it's a 30 meter national elevation data. And if you open it and open the base map behind it, you should be able to see that this corresponds to the Las Vegas Valley and the surrounding area. In the watershed delineation step, what steps what we will do is we will fill the holes and depressions in the DEM. Then we will find flow direction, which will be used to find flow accumulation. And then flow accumulation will be um, used as a, a stream thresholding um, which will result in streams and then we will create a pore point on the stream and actually several pore points can be created which will be used to delineate the watershed. So first of all we'll do the fill process. For this purpose um, you can go to Arc uh, Toolbox and under Arc Toolbox we have spatial tools and under spatial tools you will find a uh, a folder uh, hydrology and in hydrology we have fill so use we will use fill and the input raster will be NED30 and output will be NED30 fill so we will um, go to our folder here. and we will output the file as NED30 fill. No need to give any other input. So this process will basically remove all the depressions uh, from the data so that any point in the watershed will actually end up contributing to a pore point. It's, uh, the step is also called DEM conditioning. You may have to wait for a little bit for this process to complete. It depends upon um, the type of computer and what other applications you are running. But once it is completed, you will see the new layer automatically added to the table of contents.